what's going on youtube welcome back to my channel today we're not only showing you one of the cleanest examples of these cars but this car is one of the best handling cars ever manufactured what do you think of this guys check this out You alright Tom? Thanks for coming on the channel. No problem mate. Keep the social distance no, and all no. that. So Tom, how long have you owned the car for? Two months maybe. T two months, yeah. Have you had have you had any others or is this I your first one, one? I had one before. It was a pre LCI. Obviously this is LCI. So what oh, year man. what year does the LCI come in? I believe 10 slash 11 they do changes in 10 and more changes in 11 i believe yeah wrong. all right what is there much difference between the pre-lci to the facelift um basically the major difference is the back lights yeah and then you've got other bits inside little accents yeah the stop start button cup holders the head units might change with the the i drive Fair enough. It's not a major do they do they all come with like a differential and all that, or is it yeah, like an open diff? Yeah. So they all come stock with a diff yeah, on it and everything, yeah? Diff, yeah. Fair enough. It's, ve it's very clean car though. Mm -hmm. What is it? Is it like an is it like a normal white or is it got like some sort of pole to it or something? It's uh, a mineral white. A mineral white. Yeah, is that it's like, like a pearl, pearly white to it? I like it. Yeah. Yeah, it is it like out. a factory colour or is it like a... Yeah, that, it come out in 2011, I think. So it only comes out in the facelift models then? The mineral white, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Fair enough. Sorry about the train noise, guys. <laughs> so what sort of tyres are you running, Tom? At the moment, I've got Michelin Pilot Super Sports on it. Fair I'm enough. I'm changing them to Pilot Sport 4 s so they, they all come they all come with the carbon roof and carbon bits, don't they? The 92s come with the carbon roof, the 93s and the 90s are purple. One's a four door saloon. Yeah. But the coupe comes with a carbon roof. Do they all come with like the carbon tip bit on the boot lid? Not always. Some people put them on aftermarket. Yeah, it's really clean. It's starting to rain guys, so we're probably just gonna make a move before it starts hammering down. The usual English weather, non-stop raining. Yeah, yeah, the pre-facelifts can have them, yeah. 
just an optional extra, whether it's been added or not. Yeah. Where we going uh, just go straight, man. So I, I, I recommend that if you was to get one of these cars, I'd recommend the EDC. I wouldn't buy another one without it. No. Nah. No. Nah. So did your last model have that? That didn't have it. No. Nah, that didn't have it. But so now that I have got it. So for people that don't know, what does the actual EDC button do? It's electric damper control. So basically just stiffens up the suspension. Fair enough. And it's a standard. Well, yeah. it's a factory feature, you know, but an optional extra. Yeah, because I noticed it when you when we first got in the car, you said, can you feel the difference? Mm. And it did go from... Can you feel it now? Yeah, you yeah. can feel it's solid and everything. Yeah, you feel yeah, the yeah. bumps yeah. and everything. It's a lot more rigid. That's it. So what, what, what's, what's the fuel like on this? Obviously, the C63 is shocking. It's probably not as bad as that, but it's not good. It's not good, no. No? What's like sort of like the average mile per gallon driving, say... I've drained the tank in two hours before. <laughs> <laughs> what you've drained it fully in two hours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Filled up. Was it? it was on the motorway. <laughs> uh, two hours later, I'm back in the garage. So it's all good it's, fun, isn't it? It's mad. It's like I, I think it's crazy. The, the thing is, what people don't <laughs> understand about like these sort of cars, like this, the C63, because they're not say the quickest, because they've got a big liter engine in them. Mm. People when people just think automatically we exaggerate on how yeah, much they no, drink no. fuel. It's quite small for a V8 really, a four litre, but it does drink. Yeah, it's, it a, does it's drink. I, I can imagine. But it's well worth it. Yeah, that's it. So what what's what what are these top out as standard? Have they got a limiter on them or obviously if they're limited to one five five then it's one five five. And then there's another limiter past that, if you go past that it's one seventy. Just go right here. And then don't quote me on it, but apparently the DCT models, the standard with zero limiter on, yeah. will hit 198. 198? 198, 198, and apparently the manuals will hit 201. That's what I've heard. That's, that's, well, if that's true, that's decent, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> well, yeah, you can put, obviously in your own time, but you can put your foot down so I can actually sort of feel power art obviously this being completely factory standard yeah no no mods at all are they? Yeah. yeah So what sort what sort of like what's the bad points you've noticed? Obviously owning two. I'll be honest, the brakes, standard brakes, terrible. Not, not good, yeah. Terrible. It lets the car down. That's the only thing that lets the car down really. What is that the only sort of bad fault you can say in I mean there's a lot of scaremongering about rod bearings being done. Yeah, because I've I've not I've well, noticed. If you treat the car right, the engines are quite bulletproof to be fair. So it's, it's, I know it's a bit off topic, but it's similar to basically like a Mark 7 Transit. They all fail bottom end <laughs> yeah. because they don't get looked after. There's not many that have failed, but people, I don't know. But that is probably the most common they problem up, with yeah. it, basically, the, uh, the bottom end bearings. 
because that's that's an, that's another thing. It's that's the only really thing I've actually heard about these cars. And the actually, throttle actuators. What they if they go, they go, and then you get them done. So no, it's not like, like temperamental or nothing. If it goes, it's, it's gone. Yeah, you'll know when it go. It'll go in limp mode. It'll give you just go back that way if you're there. It won't give you full full but, revs available. But to tell you the truth, guys, from my first experience in an E92 M3, they're comfortable. They sound nice. They ain't they ain't slow at all. Yeah, the note of the engine is nice. Yeah, like you can hear it on the camera. Yeah, like you can you can. It's, it sounds. It don't sound tappy like the E46 no. M3s, does it? It sounds no. a lot much, more much 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 better. Grunty, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, you can better, proper yeah. hear the V. Obviously, I know the M3, E46 ain't a V8, but yeah. it's a totally different sound. But the inside of this this car, guys, and the outside is absolutely mint. I and mean, that's second gear at 50. Yeah. It changes gears so much faster. So quick. So yeah. quick. I think if this had a slow gearbox change like the C63, it's, it, this is the best gearbox I've ever had. Yeah, but yeah. this it feels nice compared to. Other like automatics, I wouldn't even say it's far off DSG changing. I'd like, say it's quicker quick, than DSG. Yeah, I'll probably, I actually it's quick, would. Yeah, it's quicker than DSG, 100%. Because it's strange, like I'll send you, Tom, like I've had so many cars, I've been in so many different cars, but I've never been in an E92 M3. And it's so what weird. Do you think? Honestly, I actually like it. I feel like it's planted to the road, it feels solid. It's definitely planted, yeah. And they're not slow. No, they're if, not. They're not slow. They're, if you want a straight line car, then they're, they're not the quickest. Yeah, they're not the best, obviously, for they're straight line. Slow, but I could imagine quick. how good this is, even when we was going around the corner when we was obviously, oh, mate, yeah. obviously sticking to the speed limits. But when we was going around yeah. the corners, it felt planted mm. and it feels solid. It's Definitely. not. Yeah, it's, it it's nothing. Yeah, it's it's nothing like my C63 AMG at all. Did you say that was a bit boaty, no? It's, it's so boaty, it's unreal. Yeah, it's a bit boaty when you turn it off. Putting this on. Yeah, no, it's, it's solid. It's yeah, solid and it's yeah. so instant as well. But yeah, people, if you if you like the video and you want to see more of obviously other cars like high performance cars, any sort of cars like freak builds with like anything just let me know comment obviously subscribe like and share and yeah hope you enjoy the video bye